it's my first day in Switzerland. Uh, we're on Lake Lucerne, and we're going to go up to Mount Pilatus. Check it out. Yeah, we're going to be right up there in the clouds. So far, I've learned a few facts. Um, they speak three languages here, uh, Swiss German and French and Italian, different parts of the country. But who wants to be a millionaire is in Swiss German. So I think that says a lot right there. We are taking the um, train up the mountain, Mount Pilatus. And this train is 120 years old today, which is also true of Joan Collins. I'm sorry for the news today, but um, come back anytime. Hey, I am on the top of Mount Pilatus near Lucerne in Switzerland, and um, we saw when we first got here, we saw a little film about this place, and it has the name Pilatus because, as legend has it, some people schlepped Pontius Pilate's dead body up here and dumped it, and then the devil came down on a chariot. I don't know, something devil, Jesus kill. I, anyway, there's a legend. And then there's also a story about um, a guy that was trying to find wood to make barrels with. He was just an average guy. And he fell in a cave, and he thought he was going to die. But two dragons came and helped him. And they were nice dragons. And they stayed together for like a summer. It was like a fling, I think. And the film actually said that they, um, like he, he uh, kind of warmed himself in their skin. So they spooned, maybe. And... By that, it means they had sex, because everyone knows that when you tell your friends, oh, we just spooned, we all know what that means. So, it was a dragon menage that was part of this uh, place. And the other fact I know is that Queen Victoria came up here long before there was a train or anything in 1868, and she came up on a mule. So, she was made of tougher stock than maybe we might think, and she liked it up here. She liked the sunsets. So, <laughs> it's beautiful. That's all I got. I wonder if he knows um, Umbrella by Rihanna. <laughs> Okay, we're getting ready to go tobogganing, and it's very much like The Amazing Race, only this time, if you hit 10 kids, you get a t-shirt. So... That bothered me, but that's bothered me. Well, I guess when you're in. Ah! Ah! Yeah! So now the toboggan is going back up the hill. I think I rocked it out. I did pretty good. Um, I saw a cow. They came very close to hitting a cow. And um, my big joke was that I was going to try to be crying when my toboggan came back up so that all the people standing in line would be like, what's wrong with that guy? But uh, now I, I'm going to start getting into character so I can cry. So I just need, I need to be alone. We're back in action. Yeah.
thing that impressed me about this place is they're very high on personal responsibility. Like, there's people that help you get in the toboggan and stuff like that, but they're not holding your hand the whole time. And there's a whole zip line course over there where they get those kids outfitted up and send them off. And uh, I think in America, they're too lawsuit happy, so they'd be holding your hand every second. But here, you're free to bash your brains against the side of a toboggan run if you want to. And I think that's a beautiful thing. All right, we are now going down the mountain, Pilatus Mountain, Mount Pilatus. And um, we've been going on this, like, I don't know, funicula thing or these little um, sky bubbles. And it's about our 20th mode of transportation today. And I, I expect when we get out, we'll be, like, hang gliding back to our hotel. But this part's kind of freaky. Watch. Check it out. Right? It's a little freaky. You're suspended. Um, Here we go. So, wow, and there you can see the town below. Check that out. It's so magical up here. I kept expecting to see the Von Trapp children doing a medley or hiding from Nazis or something. It's that kind of uh, atmosphere. When we got into this car, there was no dude or woman that put us in this car. We just got in it and the doors closed. And that's the thing about Switzerland. They're like, you're grown up. Deal with it. I appreciate that. But I am a little scared, and if there was a dude that could hold me, that would be nice. That's it.